Okay guys, welcome back to something that I have not done in a very long time, and uh, that is a mod pack review, and I am very excited to show this mod pack, um, a very, very small mod, or small, um, very unknown mod, mod pack, uh, called Matt's Mega Tech Pack, and it does not joke on the word mega, because if you look down in here in the lower left corner, we almost have 450 mods. Um, this is the biggest mod pack I've ever seen. I've searched and searched the internet, and I've seen nothing nearly as close to this. I've saw one little article about this pack right here, and no other mod pack I've seen has came even close to it. So um, I can't imagine the amount of stress this guy went through trying to get 450 mods all working with each other. Uh, but um, this is called the Tech Pack, and that's because it's basically got every single technology mod that ever exists. Um, but if we uh, we can go uh, load up a world right here, um, I'll just search mod. I'll just make a mod pack review and creative, of course. Do we have any extra? No, okay, no extra game modes. Uh, we do have a couple extra worlds. Uh, we have Scary Gen, and this comes from um, this comes from Buildcraft, I think. And it's basically a customizable um, amplified terrain. And the regular biomes of plenty. So of course we're going to do biomes of plenty because everyone loves that. Uh, bonus chest, see what we get. And this might take a while. Alright, so we are in a world as you can see. And I can already tell my FPS is way lower than it would be in vanilla. This is about maybe an eighth of what I'd get in vanilla probably. I get around 900-ish and it's hovering around 200 still good but there's just crazy amounts of mods um, this is with the full screen um, what's it called uh, NEI and there's 71 pages of items this um, I was pl I'm playing on a mod pack with uh, 100 mods and it's only got 14 pages so that'll just give you an idea of how much stuff there is we can go here to mods and it's just scrolling past mods for days um, but so uh, yeah, lots and lots of very crazy stuff. Um, just we can spawn with a whole inventory full of stuff. Um, if I and I am really considering doing a, um, a playthrough of this, I'd probably throw all that out. Cause kind kind of OP maybe a little bit. Uh, we have a uh, battle. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, battle, battle gear. Yeah, that that mod right here. And uh, this lets you um, dual wield items. Uh, pretty pretty gnarly stuff. So let's do a quick fly around here uh, just to give you an idea of uh, just the world. So we can see there's lots of villages, runic dungeons, or not runic dungeons, what's this called? Doom-like dungeons. Uh, very, very sick mod, adds crazy, crazy dungeons, tons of stuff in it. Um, these villages just have random buildings I've never seen before in here. Uh, these are from Witchery, alright, cool, cool. Um, but it's just the amount of stuff is just gnarly. Uh, we have industrial craft. Um, all the talk mods are in here. Build craft, thermal expansion, mechanism. You name it, it's in here. Um, just look at all these ores. There's just, it's just littered with all. What? That looks so sick. Universe craft? What? Alright, I need to save some of this. I am so doing a let's play. What are these dudes? Dragon crystal. Ooh. What can we do with dragon crystals? Dude, I'm going to be here all day if I keep going through these. This is just nuts. The amount of stuff. Man, this is going to be sick. Um, so I did see... Uh, there's if, you, if I go back outside, you'll see little clouds in the air. Uh, those are um, inventory pets. Uh, but it's really sick. You find uh whoa hey there bud um you find these little guys right here that give you um give you little effects if you keep them in your inventory uh that's a pretty gnarly ravine but yeah the amount of stuff is just crazy just look at the swords alone that there is end forged sword that's pretty sick all right well this is just it, i i couldn't recommend this mod pack enough just from looking at this if you want to get into modded Minecraft, this will just be overwhelmingly, like, deep with stuff. Um, I'm, a lot of these mods have their own wikis, so um, if I were to uh, start a series with this, uh, I'm probably going to try to do as many mods as I can. Go on the wikis, lots of studying, uh, give a little um, 
little tours of the mods if you know what I mean cool stuff like that but uh, this mod is just crazy crazy modded you're gonna need really really beefy computer I have a uh, i7 6700k um, one of the fastest probably the second fastest processor you can buy for gaming um, it's and I'm having a hard time I'm getting low mid hundreds um, pretty pretty deep man if you go here uh, look at my memory used I have uh, six gigabytes located and it's using up 50% of it so you're gonna want um, you're gonna want a computer with a lot of RAM in it uh, it's gonna be difficult to run but this mod pack is just gonna be so much fun uh, I'm just definitely gonna record a series on it uh, look in the description if you want to download this pack it took me a while with my awful internet to download but it's um, what is it was the file size a gigabyte and a half yeah pretty nutty stuff uh, the only thing I would like to see in here is maybe HQM um, HQM uh, adds quests and uh, it'd be really hard to add quests in something like this due to just the amount of mods that are here but um, yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little mod review I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes so I don't want to bore you guys with a mod review or mod pack review but uh, yeah go check this pack out in the description uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, tell me if you see any mod pack with over 450 mods. Um, I'll do a, definitely do a review. But uh, pretty cool stuff. See you guys in the next episode, which is hopefully an episode of this.